What if the balance of power in international relations is shifting? Could nations traditionally overlooked by Western powers be finding new allies in the East? Welcome to an exploration of a significant development in global diplomacy, the growing rapport between Africa and Russia. In the past, African travelers have been met with formidable obstacles when attempting to visit Western nations. Visa acquisition processes often require exhaustive documentation and protracted background checks, lasting months, sometimes even years. Yet, even after fulfilling these requirements, many Africans are still denied entry, a stark contrast to the ease with which Westerners travel to Africa. This stark disparity has ignited a yearning for change within African nations. Enter stage right, Vladimir Putin. The Russian leader's burgeoning popularity in Africa is redefining diplomatic ties and challenging the Western monopoly. As Western nations tighten their restrictions, African leaders are increasingly seeking partnerships and collaboration with Russia. This trend is illustrated by recent developments in Burkina Faso and Niger, where Russia has secured numerous agreements, including key military contracts. One of Russia's most daring initiatives is the proposed establishment of visa-free travel for all African nations, a potential game-changer in international relations. This proposal promises unprecedented freedom for African travelers, sweeping away the bureaucratic hurdles that have long impeded their movement. By opening Russia's doors, African nations stand to gain economically, culturally, and diplomatically. The prospect of increased investment opportunities and stronger bilateral ties is immense, providing Africans with an appealing alternative to the West's restrictive policies. This pivot towards Russia echoes a similar shift towards China witnessed a few years prior. By easing visa processes and nurturing strong partnerships, China successfully drew a substantial influx of African business and investment. Now, Russia aims to emulate this success, positioning itself as an appealing destination for African entrepreneurs and investors. Oleg Ozerov, ambassador at large of the Russian Foreign Ministry, has recently unveiled Russia's efforts to establish visa-free agreements with six African nations, with talks in progress with others. This proactive stance highlights Russia's commitment to reinforcing ties with Africa. Russia's readiness to simplify interactions and boost collaboration further showcases its dedication to nurturing mutually beneficial relationships. Furthermore, Russia's offer of citizenship to Africans who serve in its military signals a deeper level of engagement and integration. Although controversial, this initiative provides a citizenship pathway for those willing to contribute to Russia's defense initiatives. This move aligns with President Putin's vision of strengthening Russia's military capabilities, particularly in the face of ongoing conflicts such as the situation in Ukraine. Speaking of Ukraine, the tension between Russia and Ukraine persists, with implications for both nations' military strategies. Despite Kremlin's claims that the current level of mobilization is sufficient, Ukraine is pondering measures to augment its military capacity in response to the ongoing hostilities. The impact of this conflict remains undisclosed, underscoring the complexity and fluidity of the situation. To summarize, Africa's shift towards Russia signifies a pivotal change in international relations. As African nations seek alternatives to Western dominance, Russia emerges as a persuasive partner, offering opportunities for collaboration, investment, and unrestricted travel. While challenges persist, the potential benefits of this alliance are incalculable. The world watches as a new chapter in international relations unfolds. In a world where major powers have traditionally focused on strategic regions like Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, Africa has often been overlooked in global geopolitics. However, the tide is changing. Russia's proposal for visa-free travel to Africans signifies a shift in its diplomatic approach. By opening its doors to Africa, Russia is signaling its intention to diversify its alliances, fostering a deeper engagement with the African continent. 
this move not only allows Russia to expand its sphere of influence, but also offers access to untapped markets, abundant resources and newfound geopolitical leverage. It's a strategic play that could redefine the global power dynamics, making Russia a formidable player in this uncharted territory. As we move forward, the implications of this diversification of alliances are yet to be fully understood. The world watches with bated breath as this new chapter in international relations unfolds. In the wake of Russia's diversification of alliances, a new landscape of economic opportunities emerges. Africa, as a continent, is bursting with potential. It is the home of many of the world's fastest growing economies and emerging markets. A fact that Russia, with its forward thinking strategies, has not overlooked. By easing travel restrictions for Africans, Russia aims to tap into this potential and solidify its trade and investment ties with the continent. This move is not merely about expanding Russia's sphere of influence, but also about fostering mutual growth and prosperity. Increased mobility can pave the way for enhanced business exchanges, investment flows, and technology transfers, benefiting both Russian companies and their African counterparts. This can lead to a surge in economic development in Africa, contributing to stability and security in the region. As we delve deeper into this new chapter of international relations, the potential economic impact of this strategic move cannot be underestimated. The world continues to watch as Russia and Africa chart a new course towards shared economic prosperity. As we delve deeper into Russia's strategic moves, it becomes clear that the visa-free travel initiative is not just about economic prosperity, it's also about geopolitics. Russia's overtures to Africa can be seen as a counterbalance to the traditional Western influence on the continent. The United States and the European Union have long been vying for influence in Africa using their economic and political clout to shape the continent's development. However, Russia's approach offers an alternative partnership model by cultivating closer ties with African nations. Russia aims to challenge Western dominance and assert its own presence in global affairs. This is not just about competition, but also about offering African countries more options for international alliances. It's about creating a more balanced global order where no single power can dictate the rules of the game. As we watch the unfolding of this new chapter in international relations, it is clear that the stakes are high. Russia's proactive stance in Africa is not just reshaping its own foreign policy, but it could potentially redefine the dynamics of global power. With Russia's emerging influence in Africa, the geopolitical landscape is set for a significant shift. Not only is this a direct challenge to Western dominance in the continent, but it also presents a potential strain on Russia's relations with Western powers. As Russia carves out its own sphere of influence in Africa, it's likely that Western nations will view this move with suspicion and apprehension. This could potentially lead to increased tension and competition as each side seeks to assert its influence and protect its interests. Moreover, Russia's move could send ripples through the international community, prompting other major powers like China to reassess their strategies in Africa. As these nations respond to Russia's growing presence, we are likely to see shifts in global power, dynamics and alliances. It's a delicate game of geopolitical chess, with each move potentially reshaping the landscape in unexpected ways. In this high-stakes game of international diplomacy, Africa is not just a pawn but a player. African nations now have the opportunity to leverage this competition for their own benefit, aligning themselves with partners that best serve their interests. It's a fascinating development to watch as the world adjusts to this new reality. As we move forward, it's clear that the global order is in flux and the outcome of this geopolitical maneuvering remains to be seen. In the game of international relations, hard power, 
the use of military and economic might often takes center stage, but the subtler tactics of soft power cannot be underestimated. Russia's strategy of visa-free travel is a prime example of this. By lifting visa restrictions, Russia is not simply opening its borders, it's extending an invitation, a hand of friendship towards Africa. This gesture sends a clear message of openness and inclusivity, which can help to reshape Russia's image in Africa and foster goodwill among its people. It's a strategic move designed to win hearts and minds, to build bridges rather than walls. Visa-free travel isn't just about promoting tourism or commerce. It's a powerful tool of soft power projection, allowing nations to enhance their international standing and influence. In this way, Russia is using its visa policy to cultivate a positive image and establish stronger ties with Africa. This soft diplomacy could pave the way for deeper engagement and cooperation, promoting cultural exchange and mutual understanding. It's an intriguing strategy, one that could potentially yield significant dividends for Russia in the long run. As Russia continues to project its soft power in Africa, it's worth watching how this approach influences the broader geopolitical landscape. Will it succeed in winning over African nations? Or will it be met with resistance? Only time will tell. As we delve into the next chapter of Russia-Africa relations, the role of soft power in shaping these dynamics cannot be overlooked. It's a key piece of the puzzle, one that could prove pivotal in the shifting global power dynamics. In addition to the strategic calculations we've discussed, Russia's visa-free policy also has profound humanitarian implications. Easing travel restrictions can have a transformative impact on individuals and communities. It can facilitate family reunification, allowing loved ones separated by distance to reconnect and rebuild their relationships. It can create educational opportunities, opening doors for African students to study in Russia, and vice versa. It can foster cultural exchange, enabling people from different backgrounds to learn from each other, experience new ways of life, and challenge preconceived notions. These interactions can enrich both Russian society and the lives of African travelers, promoting mutual understanding and respect. Importantly, this policy also signals Russia's commitment to fostering people-to-people -people ties going beyond the realm of politics and economics to touch on the human dimension of international relations. It's a demonstration of solidarity, a way to build bridges of friendship and cooperation across continents. As we move forward, it's crucial to keep this humanitarian aspect in mind. It's not just about geopolitics or power dynamics. It's also about the impact on ordinary people's lives. And in this respect, Russia's visa-free policy could potentially make a real, tangible difference. As we continue to explore the evolving relationship between Russia and Africa, let's not lose sight of this broader perspective. It's not just nations that are coming closer together, it's people. As we draw closer to the conclusion of our analysis, it's important to reflect on the broader implications of Russia's visa-free policy for Africans. This strategic move is not only reshaping the dynamics of international relations, but is also challenging the existing norms and power structures in global geopolitics by extending this olive branch to Africa. Russia is actively seeking to broaden its diplomatic reach, bolster economic cooperation, and forge stronger strategic alliances. This outreach is not just about economic expansion or political influence, it's a calculated maneuver on the global chessboard. How will other world powers react to this audacious move by Russia? Will they view it as an aggressive play for power or will they see it as an opportunity to reassess and recalibrate their own foreign policies? The answers to these questions will undoubtedly shape the geopolitical landscape of the 21st century. This development, however, is not just about the power games played on the world stage at its core is about the potential for a transformative impact 
on the lives of ordinary people. It's about breaking down barriers, building bridges, and fostering a more inclusive and interconnected world. In the final analysis, Russia's visa-free policy could potentially be a game changer, not just for Russia and Africa, but for the world at large. As we continue to navigate through the complexities of global politics, it's crucial to keep an eye on this evolving story. It's a testament to the fact that in the game of geopolitics, the only constant is change.